using DHCP server list as a tool for network administration. Okay. So, okay, I'm Bullet. My full name is Engineer Norberta Finlay III. I'm one of the Microtech Academy trainer in Siena College of Taitai and the business owner of Ingenu IT Solutions, one of the Microtech authorized resellers. Okay, I would like to share before we proceed to the, uh, my topic. I would like to share about the Microtech Academy, uh, Siena College of Taitai. I was inspired by uh, knowing that Mindanao State and Foundation University is one of the Microtech Academies in the Philippines. So the inspiration took me to apply for Siena College of Taitai uh, to be one of the Microtech Academy. Okay, uh, just to show the activities for the students, uh, we have, uh, of course, the hands-on, the actual uh, structured cabling, and then the most exciting part is the uh, free certification of the MTCNA for the students. Okay, here's the signing of um, mem memorandum of understanding between uh, Microtic and Shana College. Okay. Um, currently, last year, uh, we had a study uh, with the government, uh, and we were lucky to uh, be a one of the grantees of this study. It's okay, the curriculum enhancement through academic industry partnership with Microtech Academy for increased employability of graduates. So the study aims to bridge the gap of the industry and the academy. Of course, we need the academic sector needs to align its curriculum uh, for, to be aligned to the needs of the industry. So Microtech creates jobs, actually, uh, many jobs. But the, the problem is uh, less people are qualified. So that is what we are bridging. Another government-funded project is the sectoral engagement. Uh, it is between uh, our local partner in Taitai, one of the cable operators, uh, Telmark, uh, Siena College, and CHED. Okay. Actually, and po yung ane, uh, director of Telmark, okay. Sir Tyrone. Hi. Okay. Um, for the Microtech Academies. I hope that someday we'll have this. Let us do a make Microtech Academy student user meeting. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's proceed. Okay. The, the objective is to be able to monitor all the device client who is connected to the network, uh, to set a dynamic IP address to static within Microtech. Then to enable use MAC address option to lock the device IP to the device MAC. To add rate limit to the device client and to use address listing options to able to add the client to a certain firewall rule. Okay, the reference. Okay. Um, the router OS has a feature called DHCP server. Okay, the DHCP server uh, dynamic host configuration protocol is for easy distribution of IT, IP in a network, IP assignment, obtaining IP settings. So I came from the uh, academic sector. So the problem I encountered uh, during the time that I haven't used the Microtech as a controller is when we purchase a large amount of computers uh, I need to configure the computer's IP address statically. So if I have 40 computers, new computers, then I need to individual uh, configure 
the LAN IP. Okay. The DHCP server is under the IP. And here is the terminal equivalent, slash IP DHCP server. For, for the DHCP list, the prerequisite will be the DHCP server should be configured. Uh, there should be an IP pool. And the IPv4 for, for the device should be set to obtain address automat automatically. So basically, when we purchase a new computer, it is already set to automatically obtain IP address. Here is the IP pool. Okay, and here is the uh, configuration for the laptops or desktop. Okay, uh, let's go to the DHCP server list. Uh, the DHCP server list submenu is used to monitor and manage servers leases. Uh, here in the screenshot example is uh, some of our uh, computers connected in the computer laboratories. Okay, here is the options that you can configure within the DHCP server list. You can assign an IP. You can bind the IP to MAC address. The client ID, uh, assign server, list time, you can block access, then you can set always broadcast. Uh, the HCP options, I, I haven't explored yet this. Uh, rate limit, queuing, and address list. So how can we uh, set the dynamic IP to static within Microtech? So you need to Click any dynamically assigned IP to view the DHCP list options. Then, uh, when the window pop-ups, you, you click the make static. Then close the DHCP list window and re reopen it. And when you reopen it, you can already uh, change the IP address. Okay, you can type the IP address that will be assigned to the client. Tick the Mac box of use source MAC address to bind the IP to the MAC address. So, just added information. If you want to set it to 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0, it means that the client will get the IP address from the assigned um, server, IP pool. Okay? If it's in the IP pool, any IP address that the client will get um, will be his uh, IP. Then we go to the add rate limit. Type the desired bandwidth limit on the rate limit feed field. Example, 512K, upload, 2M, download. Here is the rate limit. Then it will be automatically added to the queue list. Here is the queue. Here is the DHCP client. And this is what the limit that we have set. Okay, we can also do uh, address listing. Okay, uh, address listing is used in the creation of firewall firewall rules. Okay. So. Okay, so here is uh, an example. 
when we input the address list, it will go to the firewall address list. This one. Okay, uh, this is the most important part since we want to extract all the information that the DHCP list uh, that the GHCP list has. Uh, for example, if we want to extract all the uh, clients that is connected to the DHCP server, then we can also use a script. Okay, uh, I would like to say thank you to Scott for giving uh, this com post contribution in the Microtech forum. So basically, uh, this is uh, the script, uh, and of course, uh, we know that scripting is for programmers, okay? So basically, we need to find a code that will find uh, the information that we want. For example, for this code, this code will search for the address the MAC address and the client ID. Okay. When we execute this, okay, uh, here is some of the options that we can find. Uh, we can search for active address, active client, uh, all the block access, block client ID, uh, the HTTP options. Okay, for an example, here is the script we want to extract the list of block access client with the client ID and the HTTP server included. So when we execute the code, it will list this one, the MAC address and the server of the blocked, uh, of the client with black access. Okay, once uh, we execute the code and the list will be generated in the terminal, we can now highlight the extracted information and copy paste it in a text file. So I don't have the script that will automatically convert the list into a C CSV file or text file. So it will be much better if someone could do it. Okay. But for this uh, example, I copy paste the generated list and then I created a text file in my desktop. I paste it. And then I rename, rename it to CSB, and we have a tabulated uh, information list of the client connected. Or for this, this example, the blocked access, the client that we have blocked in the network. Okay, um, thank you and enjoy a happy MUMPH. Okay. Uh, for those who have not yet have their photos in the photo booth, uh, we, we sponsor the photo booth uh, just around the left corner. Uh, you may visit. And let's be friends, okay? You, you can text me for questions. Uh, this, here is my email for Shena College of Taitai. If you would like to know about my Critic Academy or 